Tonight, we are seeing dramatic video from inside a police department in New Jersey. It shows a suspect beaten while in police custody. And tonight, that man is speaking out about what happened. Elizabeth and why the officer is now under investigation. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang joining us live with more from Elizabeth. Lucy. Well, Dave, an Elizabeth police officer is now suspended without pay and facing an assault charge after a man was severely beaten while in custody. We're going to show you video from inside the police department on the night of the violence. I'm nervous. The video, which has been edited by the victim's attorney, is violent and disturbing to watch. You can see Raul Tornes in handcuffs being choked beaten, dragged inside the Elizabeth Police Department. Tonight we spoke to the 27 year old victim now claiming police brutality. You know, I'm getting struck in my ribs, struck in my chest, I'm getting knee in my face, kicked in my face, punched in my face. And I'm getting hit in areas where you have vital organs. Raul tells me he lost a gallbladder from the beating and still suffers from extreme anxiety and post concussion problems. My eye was shut closed, my lip was swollen, my head was I mean, I have blood all over me. Raul is a DJ. He says he had never been arrested before and had a good relationship with police. But last October, Elizabeth officers showed up at his home after his girlfriend called them over a dispute. What happens next is a series of violent beatings caught on police body cams and surveillance cameras. There are other officers engaged, but no one seems to be stopping the attacks. Raul Tornes is handcuffed throughout and is heard screaming in pain. I can't breathe. For him to do that with all of those cameras there uh, is scary because it's indicative of a culture. The charges were quickly dropped against Tornes, but it has taken almost a year for charges to be brought against Elizabeth police officer Edward Shields. A grand jury on Friday indicted him on one count of simple assault. The cop who's this dangerous, armed with a gun, making well over uh, $100,000 a year of taxpayer money. This is not someone who should be on the streets with people. I didn't think I was going to survive because the abuse that I was taking. Now, Raul's attorney says Officer Shields has 50 instances of using force while on the job. The Union County Prosecutor's Office insists they take claims of officer misconduct extremely seriously.